Assalamu alaikum dear students. I hope all of you are doing well. We have a new topic today. It is locus. It is basically a set of all points satisfying one or more than one condition. For example, if you have a fixed point P and if I ask you to move around, to walk around this point P so that the distance between you and this fixed point doesn't change. What will be the path traced by you if you walk around this point so that the distance between you and this point doesn't change? Obviously, this path uh, will become a circle. For example, look at this blue circle. All points of this circle are equidistant from this fixed point. So the locus traced by a point which is equidistant from a fixed point will be a circle. Now we have next locus. Consider these two straight lines. This is the straight line OA and this is straight line OB. And you need to walk in between these two straight lines so that the distance between you and these two straight lines are equal. The distance between you from the straight line OB and the distance between you and uh, the straight line AB will be same. So, in this part, we need to draw the angular bisector of this angle. You know how to draw the angular bisector. You need to draw an arc considering O as the center of the arc, and then you will put you will open the compass of normal radii and uh, you will draw an arc over here and here. This is the angular bisector of angle A, O and B. Now all points at this angular bisector, this point, this point, this point, this point, all points at this angular bisector are equidistant from the line OA and line OB. We can have another locus, for example, if you have two points, this is point A and this is point B and uh, if I ask you to walk between these two points A B, so that the uh, distance between you from both point A and point B remains same. Now in this part, you need to draw perpendicular bisector of the straight line joining point A and B. This is a straight line which joins point AB and if you draw perpendicular bisector of this line AB, all points at the perpendicular bisector will be equidistant from point A and from point B. You know how to draw the perpendicular bisector, you will put your compass here and you will open your compass uh, more than half of this line and you will draw an arc here and here and same arc will be drawn from point B. Now this black line, it is perpendicular bisector of this straight line AB and all points at this perpendicular bisector are equidistant from point A and from point B. Similarly, if you have a, a straight line, if this is a straight line PQ, and if I ask you to walk around this straight line PQ so that the distance between you and this straight line PQ remains same. For example, uh, you have a condition that you need to locate a point which moves such that the distance between that point and PQ remains 3 cm. So, you will draw two straight lines which are 3 cm from this straight line PQ. Now all points at these two blue lines are at 3 cm from this straight line PQ. So this is the locus of a point which moves equidistant to this straight line PQ. Now after this we have a 3D locus this was 2D locus and you can also say that uh, these are uh, loci, loci is plural of locus, these are loci in a plane or in a 2D surface, 2 dimensional surface. Okay, for example, you have point P and you are moving in a space 
and if i ask you to move around this point p so that the distance between you and this fixed point p doesn't change in a space this will become a sphere a spherical shape this is a sphere of uh, radius d now if a point moves at surface of this sphere the distance between that point and this fixed point p remains same similarly if you have a straight line ab and uh, if we are supposed to find the locus of a point which moves in a space and the distance between that point and this line ab remains same this will become a cylinder this will become a cylinder it is a cylinder of uh, specific radius we have some examples regarding these concepts an example one you have a rectangular shape a b c and d jane wants to locate a point x and we have some conditions regarding this point x first condition that this point is at least 5 cm from point c now we have to uh, draw a locus which is traced by this point this point which is at least 5 cm from point c this will be a circle of 5.5 cm radius this is a circle of 5.5 cm radius and second condition is that uh, the point x must be nearer to ab than to ad this is the second condition so uh, first of all we need to draw a line which is equidistant from both ab and ad and this will be the perpendicular uh, angular bisector of uh, this angle dab this is angular bisector of uh, this angle dab now all points at this straight line or at this angular bisector are equidistant from ad and ad but we are supposed to find this region we are supposed to find the region which is nearer to ad than to ad so our required region will be this region because this region is nearer to ab as compared to uh, ad and last condition that uh, our required point is it should be less than 3 cm from the line dc so we can have this straight line let's suppose this is 3 cm we will draw a straight line which is at 3 cm from this line dc now if we combine all conditions we will have uh, this region we are supposed to shade the region in which x can be located so x can be located at this region and we can verify all conditions first condition that this point is at least 5 cm from point c not more than uh, 5 cm okay so this point will be lying within uh, 5 cm okay and second condition that this point should be nearer to ad than to ad so we can see that this region is nearer to ad as compared to ad and last condition is that uh, this point should be less than 3 cm from this uh, line dc so the point x will be in this region okay we have uh, another example this is example 2 and uh, in this example we need to locate a point z which is uh, which is uh, which can be located by some given conditions first condition is that uh, this point is closer to point a than point b so in this part we need to draw an the perpendicular bisector of line a b you know how to draw the perpendicular bisector all points at this perpendicular bisector 
are equidistant from point A and point B, but our required region is closer to point A than point B. So this will be our required region in this part. Okay. And second condition that this point Z should be less than 4 cm from point C, from point B. Now, what uh, we are going to do that we need to find a locus which is at 4 cm from point B. So, this will be a circle of uh, 4 cm radius like this. 4 cm radius. So, uh, our required region which is satisfying both conditions will be this region. Because this region satisfy, satisfies both conditions. It is closer to A than B and uh, this region is less than, less than 4 cm from point B. It is within uh, uh, the radius of 4 cm from point B. We can also write same thing here because uh, x is less than 5 cm from point C.